Hey guys, let's check out Astral Forge Effects in Survivor.io. I missed the trash over there. I do want to mention one thing first. I made this graph and posted it on Twitter if you want to download it. I will leave a link in the description. I'm losing my voice right now. Anyway, I posted this on Twitter. If you want to download it, it shows all of the forge effects in Survivor.io. Instead of reading all of this to you, I'll just show it to you if you're interested. Check it out. Take a screenshot if you want. So far, this is all I have forged. I don't have any belts forged right now because before Astral Forge came out, I made a legendary waste sensor. But we pretty much have all eternal gear and the void power weapon. The eternal necklace has a very interesting forge effect. We are going to be able to evolve the first passive skill we select in battle. And as you see, King has their own passive skill called survivor instinct. So it's not going to be compatible with King if we choose survivor instinct. However, it will be compatible with the second skill that we choose if we select survivor instinct. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Another interesting forge effect is this one right here with the void power weapon. Two black holes will fuse and they will become bigger. Eternal gloves also have a pretty crazy forge effect. Restores 1 HP when monster is defeated with critical hit. Max 10 times per second. We're going to get one more skill choice chance when revived and flames don't fade with time. Let's do the daily challenge. Choose two skills on each level up and mobs don't flinch. We're going to select survivor instinct right there. I just want to show you guys what I was talking about. So let's check out the void power weapon here. We need two black holes to collide with each other. Once they collide with each other they will become bigger just like that. We now have a five star void power weapon. That was quick. Also, check it out. We are rapidly healing here. Whenever we kill an enemy with critical damage, we are going to heal. So as you see, we are shooting the enemy with our void power weapon. The black holes are getting bigger and we are healing each time we kill an enemy with critical damage. Here comes boss numero uno and we are just wiping it out. Kill it. As you see, so far I have selected survivor instinct. It's my first passive skill. And since I have the eternal necklace equipped, we are going to be able to evolve our first passive skill and unless it's a character exclusive skill. What I'm going to do here is select HE fuel as my second skill. That means I will be able to evolve HE fuel. Here's what every evolved passive skill looks like in the game. I'll put it right here up on the screen. Here we go. Here is a five star HE fuel passive skill and we have finally evolved it. It went up by 10% to 60% right here. So check it out. When the black holes combine, they become bigger. But when you add a third one to them, it's not going to happen. You need to get two. It's only going to take effect with two of them. We have a six 60% range increase as well. Here comes a boss. Maybe it will kill me. I want to die and revive. Kill me, Rusher Papillon. Kill me, please. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to hurt you. I'm honestly invincible. What is this? Okay, let's see if we can die. Let's try to run into a mob here. Come here, guys. Kill me. I'm not even taking damage. I can't do anything here. I can't die. I am invincible. Astral Forge is a blessing and a curse. Croaky, you're almost dead. What's going on? You're so lucky. I honestly can't die because I am rapidly healing. Check this out. There's no one can do anything against us. Here comes the final boss. Let's just stand here AFK and kill it. No hands. We are going to kill the final boss. Let's see if it can kill us. Will it kill us? Yes. Kill me. Please. It's going to kill us. What's going to happen when we die? Are we dying? Did we die? Okay, we died and here's food. Okay, I'm eating in my death and uh, I... That's it. Check this out, guys. 0% for the Gloom Nova weapon. It didn't even measure. That's how OP it is. That's how broken it is. Also, if you didn't notice, the flames from the Eternal Boots are not going to go away. They do have a distance, but they won't go away. Let's go. Let's go. We are shooting the mobs here. We are expanding the size of our black holes. Check them out. Once our black holes touch each other, they get bigger. Okay, let's try to die. Let's try to die. Come and kill me. Don't go away. Kill me, please. No matter what I do, I just can't die. We're going to have to try another survivor. Here is the chapter 99 challenge. Okay, it looks like we can die here. Let's go. Come here and kill me. Don't go inside of my black holes. Just kill me. Please kill me. I want to die. No, not a skill. Okay, we have died. Let's check this out. Let's grab the void power weapon. So when we die and get revived, we can choose a skill. That might be very useful in Ender's Echo. I actually have not tried it yet. So that's that, guys. What do you think of these astral forge effects? Let's hear it in the comments below. When I get more stuff forged, I will make more videos, so make sure to like and subscribe subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. F Bordo laptop screen protectors are specially designed to block harmful blue light and reduce glare, providing a more comfortable viewing experience. With F Bordo screen protector, you can say goodbye to eye strain and hello to productivity. Protect your screen from those disgusting blue lights pah, and prevent scratches. I've scratched the screen of my laptop before while it was inside of a protective case, and I don't want the same thing to happen to you. So get your F Bordo anti-blue light 
screen protector today by visiting the link in the description of this video.